on and find me out and about at the foot of the Jura. Hello cows. Um, so it's another nice sunny Sunday. Uh, this is the Sunday the 1st of May and it's uh, glorious weather. A little bit chilly still. Uh, I'm out and about once again planning to go and visit a Ducati demo day and see if I get a chance to ride a Panigale this time. Following the old Kalimoto. The confidence is building as the season continues. We're just at the bottom of the, uh, the twisty section to get up to the mountain pass. So I thought I would uh, I'd record a quick introduction and also uh, record some of these fantastic roads for you as well. But I reserve the right to stop commentary when I'm concentrating on a corner. <laughs> of which there's one coming up. since I did this road so I don't exactly know where it's going all the time <laughs> I did this road on the BMW S1000 RR last year it's a nice road I'm wearing some slightly different kit to what I'm used to it's my kit I've had a while but I don't ride in it so often these days, especially commuting. So I'm wearing my, my sort of sporty kit. I've got my Dainese two-piece leathers. I've got some new Dainese gloves, which uh, take a little bit of getting used to. I think they're the right size. They're, they're the top of the range in terms of protection. Again, they're for sporty or, or circuit riding. Uh, they're just a bit... Uh, new to me, so I'm, I'm taking some getting used to. And I've got my fairly new to me boots on as well, my TCX, I can't remember what they're called, but they're, they're some kind of race boots. They've got um, metal toe sliders, which is the problem with my old boots that I had for years and years. Uh, I wrecked them on the track. Not that I've scraped the toe sliders on these yet, but I've not taken them on track yet. Anyway, I hope they'll be getting there soon. I'm a bit running a bit late today. I don't know uh, whether I'll have to wait in a queue to try the Panigale. Keep wondering whether I should try the uh, Multistrada V4S as well, or the Pikes Peak if they had it there. I really want to try the Ducati Panigale V2, but it's never at any of these demo days. So if I want to try that, I'm going to have to go and book it with the local dealer. And that means being serious about buying another bike, which is probably, well, 99 point whatever percent definitely not happening this year. Because I'm buying a house. I uh, should be moving in in about two months, but the good news is buying a house with a double garage. So, uh, potentially room for two bikes. So I might not have to trade in this one, but get to have a, an alternative to choose from. on that corner and hear that curb.
might start seeing some Ducati demo bikes on the road now. I haven't quite decided which side of the mountain to try. I might go the other way. That was the way that I tried my friend's uh, Panigale, uh, what is it? 1298, whatever the last the previous one to the V4. And his is the S as well. But I tried that, the riding position on it. Oh, I've got a video online somewhere. The riding position on it was really, it, it gave me back pain. I'm normally okay with clip-ons and I like having the bars a bit leant forward, feel a bit more in control on the bike. But that one, it was really bum in the air. I think that's what was doing it. It was really, the next day I was in quite a bit of back pain. So, but when I tried the Panigale V4S last year, I think it was last year, on a different mountain in the Alps, Again, I got a video of that. They didn't feel too extreme at all. I'm not sure I'd say it was comfortable. There was certainly weight on the wrists going down the mountain, but it didn't feel alien and it didn't give me pain. So I want to try the new V4. Let's see what that riding position is like. Because they're supposed to have made it a bit better. Albeit better for the racetrack, I think. Like you can grip the tank and under heavy braking it's better apparently. This is where people park up to do hiking. Quite a nice area here. Pretty stone walls. Make sure we've got visibility before opening out the throttle because things like cyclists in the middle of the road around the blind corner need to be avoided. This is definitely a holiday location, leisure park. cloudy again today. The temperature is dropping a bit up here. I think it started off at about 5 this morning, the 5 degrees. So uh, I've got some thermal undies on. And I've got my, also wearing my airbag vest, my uh, Alpenstars Tech Air 5. So here we are. Looks like I was a bit late and it's going to be super busy. Let's see how long I have to wait 